welcome to the show. Again, we thank God that you can view the show, whether it's in your living room, your den, your kitchen, or even in your bedroom, any other part of your house that we, we're excited to bring you that ministries presents. I'm your host, the Reverend Willie Williams, Jr. Uh, our, our co-host is not here. He's on assignment. Uh, but again, we, we're going to have an outstanding guest. He's going to tell you some information that we always talk about. Because one thing we say to uh, individuals that live here in the city, got relatives, we've got friends, uh, or even the tourists that are coming down, we tell them, go down to the lower night walk, see the devastation, but realize the, the restoration that the Lord is going to do. And the way he does that is people keep talking about that area coming back, keep on talking about businesses coming back, keep on talking about homeowners coming back. And the more you talk about it, the more there's an interest. And the more the interest is, the more there is that, that get up and go and, and, and get those uh, vacant lots cut and, and, and get those blotted properties uh, taken care of. Uh, again, we always thank God that, that we have an opportunity. We're going to be commemorating 10 years in August of uh, Hurricane Katrina. Katrina was a turning point, and I think it is a standard for all, all hurricanes now. If, if it's at a, a, a category five or, 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 or lower, I think a lot of people we, we will always remember Hurricane Katrina and how it displaced so many people and how it affected uh, people's life. Again, we want to thank the volunteers that have been coming down continually and have been helping not only with the restoration of our citizens' home, but also with our houses of faith. Uh, again, uh, we have a guest. Uh, I'm excited about our guest because he's, uh, he's no stranger. Uh, he, he's an a, a, a author. He's an a, a, a activist. Uh, he's all together a man that, 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 that's really interested in this city coming back. Amen. Uh, I, I can tell you some of the things he's been doing, but I think the best way is to let him tell you what he's doing and what he has been doing and the person of Happy Johnson. Hey, Happy, always a pleasure, man, Good to, to have you, you on the show always. and the work Thank you do. Because, you. you know, I, I don't know if everybody know that that you're, you're not a native, but you've, 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 you've uh, come adopted here the, and adopted the, the city, city. As, as, as your own. And, and look, you, you're adopted in a way that you're doing the work that needs to be done in the community. Mm -hmm. Came here mm -hmm. uh, uh, after Katrina as a volunteer, mm -hmm. and after mm -hmm. volunteer decided to stay, help with the rebuild, and then you've been building up some things. So, so tell us, and, and I have to mention, I, I thank you. You're, you're working in the Lord Night War. Mm -hmm. Working tell us a and bit. living in the, in the okay, Night War. Okay, okay. Uh, you, you, you know that's, that's where I grew up. That's at. your and hometown. Yeah, uh, man. We're trying I'm, to hold it down yeah, across the man. canal. I, I mention that because uh, uh, the, the house that I, that I grew up in is on uh, Derbeny and Renee in between Falstaff is in the middle, okay. middle, middle okay. of, of the block. And that house is still there. Yeah. Still there. Wow. After Hurricane Katrina. Now, I don't, I don't think anybody stays in yeah, it, but, yeah, but, but yeah, the yeah, house yeah. is still standing. It's a little brick house. Okay. It's still there. Is and your family going to sell it? Or they, no, they no. We don't, we don't even own the oh, house. Okay, we don't, okay. we, okay. You know, we, uh, we, we left uh, uh, years before the hurricane. But I'm saying as a replica of, 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 of different locations, right, you right, can go right, back right. to a pin person. Uh, th that's where my, my upbringing was, right there on Derby okay, and Foster. Okay, now, okay, I, I, okay. I stayed other places in the Lower Night Ward, then I moved different different places and stuff okay. like that. But that place has a fine memory for me because uh, uh, I think the you're area you're talking levy, about yeah. now, well, that's, that's what you're talking about is a Holy Cross area. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I stayed in that area as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dauphine and... and um, and, and, and Lazada and Falstaff. Okay, yeah. I live on Andrews Street. So. Yeah, I, I know the whole area, man. Oh, I know so that. That's a we, call, place. we used to call that up front of town when we stayed. Up we called that, town, yeah, huh? you, you had to go up. And, yeah, and, and yeah. We, we were in the middle. Some people still call it, say, downtown when, when you go well, up. It's always downtown bar, when, you, you know? when you're over the Industrial Canal, uh -huh. they consider that downtown. Uh -huh. But we even had areas, uh, I, I went to school, uh, um, in, um, junior high school at uh, Alpha Lawless, and okay. we call that back. Back of town. Back of town. Yeah, because we walked to school and we went back of town. Right. So, you know, it's it, it just a, a, a familiar way of saying you know the area. Oh, that yeah. area is well, oh, yeah. well, well, uh, uh, um, you know, staked out. A lot of history. Me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great yeah. history. A lot Fast of dominoes, history. history. You have a lot of uh, African American authors that have come from there, lawyers, um, business owners. 
you know, one of the best restaurants in the city is Cafe Dolphine, and that's oh, okay, in the lower okay, Nine okay. Ward. You must be one of the best. See, see, you saying that you saying that because you live down there now. But I'm saying it because <laughs> I eat there too. <laughs> <No. though. laughs> and they have some good. They have some good redfish uh, and crab dressing top. It's, it's a good spot. I, I know the owners, man. Okay. I watch those young people grow up. Okay. I'm, yes. Uh, Fred. I, I can't think of his sister name and his wife. I think Tia. Tia. Uh-huh. Uh, well. Uh, I didn't watch Tia grow up, but I watched yeah. Fred grow up, and I watched his little, his, his younger sister. I don't want to okay. say little sister because okay. at the time she was a little bitty kid and stuff like that. So. And then you have Holmes. You ever been to Holmes, which is on St. Claude? Yeah, home, I, I'm familiar with Holmes too. Okay. Um, um, well, um, they got I don't think red think, beans and rice. I don't think he's running it anymore. I'm, I'm not sure. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think, so. I think he's I think someone anymore. in the family though. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I might. I know that family too. Okay, and uh, the Mercedes. Of course, Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. I don't. All, all of those, all of those places. That's a I good can spot. Well, I can tell you who, who the proprietors are. Like you say, uh, uh, Henry Holmes is, is the owner of Holmes, mm-hmm. and he may, may may be leasing it out. But uh, mm-hmm. um, I can tell you the family members. I yeah. can tell you. Uh, I think he used to do uh, e- e- EMS uh, emergency. He used to okay. do that kind of work and stuff like that. Retired and stuff. Uh, some... uh, but, but but before it was home, it was Al Lito's. Oh, oh it was a plumbing, okay. plumbing, okay. yeah, it was okay. a plumbing okay. shop. Okay. Yeah, and, and so. Mickey B's on the on, on across the street from Brothers. Another another happening spot. I don't know about that. Okay. Boy. Well, yeah, yeah. we're gonna have to bring you down. Come is on, get you. Is that is that a, it's is a that, lounge? It's a really nice lounge. Really nice lounge. Well, it was it was owned by somebody else when I was down. There. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The brother the brother is uh, no longer there, and I think he he leased it out to somebody. Okay. A lot of those places, like you talk about Mercedes and stuff like that, I can remember. Spot. I got some relatives that go there very frequently. Yeah, very well, frequently. I, I know Mercedes. I know Mercedes personally. Okay. Yeah. She's no, her really children and everything like that. Really not. Her daughter is the the bartender over there. What's really. Her name? Oh, don't get Which me. one of them? Well, you got a um, of them. I want to say maybe the Gabra? middle, the young, maybe. Is it Deborah? Is she the, is she the middle daughter? Deborah's right around yeah. the middle. Yeah. Okay, they, they, yeah. yeah. They got, they, they, they have one named Maddie. Yeah. I think it might be Deborah. Yeah, probably Deborah. Yeah. But a yeah. great, a great spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, w- you know, we have with uh, at All Souls Community Center on uh, Caffin and St. Claude, we're in the old Walgreens. Old Walgreens. Old Walgreens. I'm telling you, that, that's, that's, that's an old landmark and it's an old trademark for places I used to go. Cause, mm-hmm. um, you might have right behind, right behind uh, um, um, the Puglies. Oh, Pugilis? Uh-huh, uh-huh. The <laughs> grocery Pugilis store. across the street uh-huh. from me. Yeah, but uh-huh. I was talking about behind there, there's, there's a church. Uh, it used to be uh, First Thessalonians. Uh, okay. Th- okay. It's right on, yeah, okay. Right, okay. on right on Bugunda and, and, and Caffin Street. Okay, a new, big lot. Big, yeah, they had a big, yeah. There's big. a new pastor there now. Um, um, I think um, they're still rebuilding it. They're doing some work because a lot of work needs to be done mm-hmm. uh, after Katrina. They didn't do mm-hmm. too much work and stuff like that. But there's a new pastor over there as well. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, a new pastor. Uh, uh, Reverend Prevost used to be the pastor there at uh, First Thessalonians. And, okay. Uh, uh, so somebody it's else. A great, it's a great area. You know, if you were starting a family and uh, you're looking up. Man, it's right. Know, it's right. perfect. I mean. Like Sanchez say, Center, multi-million dollar complex, uh, Olympic Pool, uh, swimming facility, Everything. Now, when yoga I was in, on Thursdays really? by uh, Tecrema Center for the Arts. Uh, so you go community to, leader. You go into Greer. yoga. She's trying to get me to go and do the yoga. It's they on say, Thursdays at seven thirty, and I haven't done it yet, but I'm getting ready to do it. Well, they're saying that if you do yoga, you can enhance your life for, oh, I think by so. six years. Oh yeah, I think six so. years of life I by doing so. yoga. I, I guess so. so. You, you know, you you you're getting your body in shape, I bending it the way like pressers and yeah, stuff like that. I, I guess that is healthy because yeah. you, you haven't experienced this. But when you get older, your, your bones, you know, they start. I'm gonna aching. make a challenge to you. What you doing tonight? Uh oh, 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 oh. Seven thirty. We'll see. We'll Come see. on, let's do it. Because we'll you know, I haven't been, I, and I and I really want to go. And I've been telling Greer that I want to go uh, and do the yoga. We'll see. We'll all see. right. All we'll right. See. We'll see. Well, at, you know, it's so amazing when I think about um, after Katrina in in August and September, I volunteered in Washington D.C. at the National Guard Armory, and that was my first um, disaster volunteer experience because you know there were folks that were living in the Gulf and they were relocating to to D.C. and we were uh, passing out clothes and um, pillows and, and things like that at the armory, unloading trucks. And then uh, three months after Katrina, I had a chance to come down to New Orleans with the Red Cross and I sit back and I think, 
how amazing it is to have seen the recovery and the development and the, and the neglect uh, 10 years later. And as I, I sit back and I reflect on that time, I just think, wow, it's such amazing to think about how far the city has come, but also how far it uh, has there's, still, right. there's still lots of work to, uh, to be done. And the Lower Ninth Ward is a perfect example of you know, almost a tell of two places. We have a lot of, there's been a lot of investment in infrastructure, but I would argue there hasn't been much investment in people. And until we recognize two things that exist in the city, racism and poverty. And for whatever reason, racism and poverty are the two things that we just, I mean, we get nervous about addressing those issues, but at the heart of all of the challenges that we face, it's about equitable access to economic opportunity and development. It's about access to high quality education, uh, high quality services like healthcare and clinics, and uh, just quality of life issues like your streets and your lights. Um, you know, you should be able to drive in your neighborhood and not worry about losing your left tire. You know, I mean, th and th those are things that I think have been missing uh, in the Lower Ninth Ward with a special interest when you think about the millions, billions of dollars that has come into the city and you think about how much new wealth have we created? What type of coordinated plan have we thought about in terms of educating uh, residents and young people to take advantage of the influx of federal and state uh, money that's come into our neighborhoods? I got billions of dollars being built in my neighborhood, but my neighbors and the youth, and they're not participating. They're, they're, they're not participants of, in that, of that. In that uh, influx of money. And to me, that is the greatest uh, failure and lesson that we have really yet to learn because that's not a quick process or a quick turnaround, but it, it has to be a plan and it has to be something that, that starts from some point. And um, for whatever reason, we haven't had the will or the interest to, to put those kind of uh, plans and ideas in place. Now, I, 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 I'm told that um, there's a CVS coming mm -hmm, on the mm -hmm, corner mm -hmm. of uh, Claybone and Falstaff mm -hmm, in mm -hmm, the future, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and maybe that will spur the growth for, mm -hmm. for more businesses. They've got to hire people from the neighborhood, and they've got to include residents in the construction of that um, facility. You know, the thing I think is always, it sounds easy, and I'm not sure why city government doesn't get this right, but there's this thing that's called community engagement. Not community outreach per se, but community engagement is a process that informs residents where they live about the projects that are taking place now and the future projects so people have an idea of what's going on and they can feel more included in, the, in those plans and so. Well, well you, you mentioned something that's important. Uh, any investment should, should be invested in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and should be mm -hmm. invested by the neighborhood citizen mm -hmm. because they have a stake mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you're not invested in the neighborhood, you're either detracting, right. you're, you're, you're eating, either exploiting, and then after a while, so goes the neighborhood because right. if, if you're not putting you know, investments in, then you're taking investments out. Exactly. You mentioned some things that, that are important is that, that you, you talk about education. W what about the level of education? If, if everybody's not going to college, what about uh, some kind of uh, some vocal training or something mm -hmm. of that nature? Mm -hmm. We got to go uh, to break, okay. uh, but when we come back, we'll talk more to you. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk. We're, we're talking to Happy Johnson about uh, All Souls and uh, what they're doing. He's going to tell us about uh, some of the programs that they offer down in the Lower Night War. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Poor nutrition today will increase Sarah's chances of anemia, add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. 